Welcome to another edition of Python for You. This morning I wanted to take a look at stacks and queues and while support for both is built into the list object in Python, you want to be careful about how you use queues because if you try to append something to the end of a list or also pull something off the end of it like you normally do with a queue, you know, last in first out, pull the top thing off, it's a little suboptimal for that. So what they've done is they've created the DQ to create a structure that's a little more amenable to that. So to get that, you have to import it from collections. So let's take a look at both of these. I have a list here I'm just going to create for stacks. And it turns out that pop and append are already built into the list object, so you don't need to worry about doing anything special for that. So I can pop something off, and then I can append something on, and we'll see how that works when I run this. With queues, I am going to use DQ on a list and get a structure that's a little more amenable to using pulling off the top and pushing on the end. So I can append things onto it and then I can pull things off of it. And let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So let's go ahead to run the module. And you can see here, when we run this, we have our stack. So we have the original stack here and then we pull off the seven, so we popped off the last thing. And then we put a two on the end of it. So you can see the way that works. So you've got stack.pop and stack.append. And then queues over here, you can see that I've got this, and notice that it prints the DQ. So I did the pop left, and I get the zero off, and then I append and get out something out to the end. So if you're going to work with stacks, they work fine with regular lists. If you're going to work with something that needs to be queue-like, you probably want to use DQ to create a queue-type structure. So you should also refer to the documentation pages that I'll link in the show notes for more information on this stuff. A lot of depth there. But in any case, this is what you want to do if you need to do anything like a stack or anything like a queue in Python. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Python.